Hello, this is Renee here and today we're going to work with the spine flexibility and mobility. Sit in your comfortable way, close your eyes for a moment and take a deep inhalation through your nose. Exhaling slowly. When you're ready, bring your chin close to your chest and slowly start rolling your neck. Keep your shoulders down and relax. Keep your jaw and your teeth and your mouth relaxed. Just feel the nice stretch of your neck as you move. The next time you're facing down, pause and change the direction of your neck roll. The next time you're facing down, pause, bring your fingers behind your head, interlace your fingers, slowly start facing down, rounding the spine, and as you inhale, start looking up, open the chest. Exhale, down and round it. Inhale, up, looking up, open your shoulders, open your chest. Exhale, down, and continue like this, moving with your breath. This next time you're facing down, bring your hands in front of you. Walk your hands forward, relax your elbows and your arms, relax your spine and your head down. Now start walking your hands all the way towards your left side and stay there, facing down. And now walk your hands all the way towards your right side. Check that your hips are grounded all the time. Walk your hands back to the front and sit up straight with a nice and long spine. And as you inhale, start rolling your shoulders from the front to the back. And now switch your direction from the back to the front. Look for big shoulder rolls. Now bring your right arm in the front and press it against your chest so you're gonna feel a nice and gentle shoulder stretch. This same hand now down in the front with your fingers pointing down, stretching your forearm. And now switch to the top of your hand to relax your wrist. And let's switch. Bring your left arm in the front, press it against your chest, gentle shoulder stretch. Bring your fingers down to the mat, press your palm down, relax your shoulder, fall from your ear and release it to bring the top of your hand for a minute. Now interlace your fingers and then start moving your wrists in circles in both directions. Bring both of your palms down, fingers pointing to your own legs, inhale, lift the chest, and exhale, chin close to your chest, round it on the spine. Repeat it again. This is like a seated cutting cow flow. And keep doing it following your own breath as you move. If you feel it's too much for your wrist or for your forearms, you can always bend your elbows. Bring your hands on top of your knees 
and start drawing a big circle with your spine. As you inhale, bring your chest forward. As you exhale, with your spine rounded, shoulders down and relax all the time. Look for mobility on your spine and switch the direction. Start going towards your other direction. Big circles with your spine. Inhale, chest forward. Exhale, round it on the spine. Pause with your spine neutral. Breathe and raise your arms and go with a twist. You look over your right shoulder. Inhale, center, and look over your left shoulder. Or whatever you're going, just make sure that you're doing one side and then the other one. Nice and long spine all the time. Follow each movement with your breath. Now let's move into a table pose. Check that your shoulders are over your wrist and your hip is over your knee. Hands shoulder distance wide and knees hip distance wide. Let's inhale, arch in your spine and exhale, round it. Moving into this cut and cow flow. Try to expand the movement of your spine as far as this feels good for you and follow each movement with your breath. Inhale, arch, exhale, round it. Let's start with the barrel roll circles. So you're gonna have to bend your elbows and it starts circling your spine at the same time that you are extending your spine as you arch and rounding your spine behind. Inhale and exhale. And make sure that you switch the direction where you're going. Go always in both directions. Pause, relax your toes, sit on your heels, walk your hands forward, and relax your forehead down into this child pose. Take a deep inhalation here. Exhale, release. Exactly as you are, start walking your hands all the way towards your right side and feel this gentle stretch on the side of your body. And walk your hands all the way towards your left side, relaxing your forehead down. Walk your hands back to the center and start bringing your chest down and your belly down. Now make sure you're going to press with your glutes and your hamstrings down. Inhale, lift the chest. Roll your shoulders far from your ears and exhale lower. Make any adjustments you need to do. Breathe and lift the chest in your cobra and exhale lower. Try to keep your elbows close to your ribs and go as far as it's okay for your spine. Make sure your shoulders are far from your ears, your scapula bones are pulling down. If you feel any pain in this pose, Please don't push through that pain, and you can always stay a little bit lower with your chest. Hold it in this cobra pose, shoulders far from your ears, and roll towards one side of your body. You're rolling towards one side of the hip and the other side of your head. If you feel this is too much for your spine, you can do the same thing with your form down. Breathe in one side, exhale the other one. Pause in your cobra, bring your forearms down. Inhale, bring one foot close to your glute and you wanna hold it with your same side of your hand. If you're working on your left side, it's gonna be your left hand. Think that that foot wants to touch the sky. So that foot is lifting up to arch. Your glutes are super active. You hold it as far as it is okay for you. And then we're going to switch, form down, shoulder far from your ear, switch your hand to the other side, 
Inhale, lift. Imagine you want to touch the sky or the roof with that foot. Lower all the way down. Relax your forehead down. Catch up both of your feet with both hands. Shoulder far from your ears. Imagine your feet want to touch the sky. Your feet start lifting, and that is how your chest lift. Exhale, lower. As you inhale, you lift. As you exhale, you lower. Be mindful with your spine. You go as far as it feels okay for you. When you're ready, just hold it up there, and we're going to rock it back and forth. And yes, I know, for some of you, this might not be easy. Give it a try. If it is painful, please, you can always pause and listen to your body. Relax your forehead down when you're ready after your rockings. Do a few more breathings and try to rock it again. You can do it at your own time. You can press pause and you can try as many times as if it is okay for your spine. When you're ready to take a break, go into your child pose, but keep your knees wider than your hips. Relax your belly down, exhale in your arms. Relax your forehead down and take deep and slow inhalations and exhalations. Start lifting to sit and get ready to lie on your back. Try to relax your shoulders, your spine. Keep your feet on the floor as well as the hips. And when you're ready, start lifting your hip up into this bridge. Engage your glutes, your hamstrings, your quadriceps, and keep your shoulders far from your ears. Lower slowly and go up again. Inhale, lift. Imagine you're peeling off your vertebra, so spine. When your hip is high, if you want to, you can interlace your fingers under your hip and hold it up there. And when you're ready to lower, slowly lower one vertebra at a time until your hip bones are on the ground. You can repeat this a few more times, but if you're ready to go into your full bridge, bring your hands close to your ears, press with your palms down, lift your head past in the crown of your head, and when you're ready, push with your arms into the full wheel of Dhanurasana, Urva Dhanurasana, and rock it back and forth, transferring your body weight towards your hands and towards your feet. Feel how your shoulders open. Inhale and exhale. Controlling this movement when you're ready, gentle, slowly go down and be careful with the head. If your spine is enjoying this nice bridge, give it a try again. Inhale, lift. Remember to press with the soles of your feet and with your palms of your hands. You can go further by walking your feet close to your hands or your hands close to your feet and doing this rocking back and forth. Feel how you transfer your body weight towards your feet, towards your hands. Inhale and exhale. Open the chest. When you're ready to go down, gentle and slowly lower your head, lower your shoulders and lower your spine. Take a couple of seconds as a break and give it one more try. Hands close to your ears on the floor, press with your feet, lift into your bridge, walk your feet close to your hands or your hands close to your feet, rock it back and forth, open the chest, breathe in and breathe out and feel the soles of your feet grounded. Another option to open your chest is going to be to walk your feet forward exactly as you are, but keep pressing to open more and more your shoulders. Relax in your head, you can shake your head saying no. 
Inhale and exhale. Be careful on the way down. Whenever you're ready, you lower. Once your spine is on the floor, bring your right knee into your chest and extend your right leg up to the sky. Inhale and exhale. Relax your shoulders. Relax your spine. Cross this right leg over your body into your spinal twist. You're going to be facing towards the right side and this right leg is going to be resting towards your left side. Start coming back to your center, readjust your hips and switch left leg straight up to the sky, hold it, shoulders down and relax, inhale and exhale. When you're ready, this leg is going to cross your body into your twist, left leg crossing towards your right side, left arm open and head facing towards your left side. Relax your shoulders there for a minute. Just start bringing both legs to your center and keep your feet together and knees apart in this diamond shape. You can rest your hands on top of your hips, relaxing your elbows and your shoulders, and bring slightly your chin close to your chest. Take a deep breath in here. When you're ready, you can bring your knees close to you and rock it side to side, almost in a happy baby. When you're ready, roll into one side and make a tiny pause there. Take a deep breath in. in. Help yourself with your hands to sit. And get into your comfortable sitting position. Keep your eyes closed just for a minute. Observe yourself, observe your body, observe how you feel. Inhale, take both hands over the head and bring your palms together in front of your heart. Being thankful for all the lessons that we have. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me today.